And I really think that it's a game changer in terms of the animation um, style and genre in India, for sure. Because as Farhad said, I think the only other one that we could actually compare it to is like a Chota Bheem or something. But there aren't many adult, not adult, but you know what I mean. You know, that whole scene, I think, stayed with me. And for me, that was the best scene of the film. And also one of the most well-written sequences of the movie. So mm-hmm. I learned a lot as a cinema student and um, that stayed with me for sure. And the music. It was also good to see that Anura Kashyap also you know, provided his voiceover mm-hmm. uh, for this movie. Along with I think Makaran Deshpande and uh, Virendra Saxena also. It made the movie all, uh, a lot, you can say, melancholic. Uh, especially towards the end when the sequence of events uh, that transpire. I won't reveal any spoilers. I want everyone to go and watch this show. Hi everyone. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the first uh, group chat on Popcorn Pixel. Asha, so since this is the first collaborative uh, chat we're having on this channel, why don't we start with a quick round of introductions? So guys, boys, why don't you start? <laughs> Farhad, start the Okay, so hi everyone. So my name is Farhad. I am a movie buff, very big movie buff. I write reviews. I have a site called popcornreviews.com. Nidhi, if you could leave it in the description, that'll be great. Hi, my name is Sadik and uh, I can call myself a cinephile because I'm highly fond of uh, cinema and movies and uh, not specifically limited to Hindi. So yeah, I'm a fan of uh, good global cinema and uh, yeah, I've been also a uh, movie reviewer and also work with a few YouTube channels too. So, review a film, a few movies. You forgot to add, you write uh, reviews for Popcorn Pixel as well. Yeah, yeah I recently yeah. wrote a review for B- Bombay Begums for Popcorn Pixel. I so, please do, yeah, please do read that uh, too if possible. So, hi everyone, my name is Tanya Mehta. Um, I just started watching World Cinema around two years back and I made uh, my own YouTube channel on in 2020 where I recommend some world movies that I really, really like. Apart from that, I'm an actor and um, yeah, on my way to just learn more about the world in cinema. Awesome. Lovely meeting all of you. Just a quick intro about myself. Hi, I'm Nidhi Sahani. I'm a founder of Popcorn Pixel. I love cinema. And if I can just say so myself, uh, at the cost of sounding too mainstream and cliche, I love Bollywood and I grew up on the 90s Bollywood. We can definitely be friends then. Yeah. (laughs) So for today's discussion, uh, for the first episode, we decided that we'll have a quick conversation and just like an open discussion about the latest film called Bombay Rolls, uh, which is on Netflix. Just so we can have a nice crisp discussion, I wrote down a couple of things like an agenda that we can focus on. So we'll talk about a little bit of the synopsis, the good, the bad, uh, one thing that stayed with us, one thing that we wish was different. And finally, we can probably do our ratings and recommendations. Any one of you, you want to take the lead and just like give a snippet of what the synopsis was? I think for us to do it. Because he was the one who actually told us about the movie, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's in a recommend. Yeah. So Bombay Rose basically has a very simple storyline. Uh, it is about a flower seller who actually falls in love with another guy from the street and they both are from a very humble background each one has their own past basically uh, and the movie is obviously set against the backdrop of mumbai from the late 60s and the early 70s uh, which uh, totally adds flavor to that and hence the movie is called bombay rose and bombay rose is the name of the place where they meet so that's the uh, significance of the place. So that's the one-liner synopsis. That's a very crisp synopsis. And very yeah, crisp, yeah. yeah, very crisp and to the point. Achha, so I want to begin with the good of the film. I'm sure there are a lot of aspects of the film that all of us like. So again, let's, Farhad, let's just start with you. What was something good that stuck out for you when you watched the film? One thing is there that uh, the animation genre in India isn't great. You know, there isn't really a market for the animation genre, unlike Hollywood, which actually has a full-grown genre for kids and for everyone. And they actually end up making money also out of it. Here, uh, I think the best animation that we actually have witnessed so far uh, until now is probably Chota Veem or, you know, uh, something to do with mythology, which is which is pretty good. But I think uh, the animation here um, is... Uh, contributed by 60 artists they've actually painted it it actually takes the genre a step ahead is what i feel so the animation 
uh, is pretty good and it reminded me though i'm not comparing nowhere close of a movie called loving vincent which actually was an animation um, in the same mold basically it was painted hand painted that was hand painted this is computer painted but secondly the music i think the music just captures the charm of the city so well i mean uh, mumbai as a city uh, i have i am born and brought up in mumbai living in mumbai so i've seen uh, the city change uh, for the past uh, 20 odd years the essence of the 70s though i wasn't really born in the 70s but it did capture the charm of the city well okay so on the recommendation of uh, farhad i just watched that film uh, bombay rose and i must say that you know uh, the film is really good i'm not sure if it's relevant or not but the animation uh, at times reminded me of one of my all time favorite animation uh, animated movies uh, making life uh, which i you know uh, watched quite recently but it's a film that was released in 2001 by richard link later to an extent the animation was a bit uh, similar or at least you know though the storyline is quite uh, different from that and apart from that you know the two characters uh, kamala and uh, selim they were really good i, I really loved the chemistry between them and it was quite simple and quite realistic because at times it didn't really look like that, that i'm watching an anime, uh, animated movie because i was you know so you know deep into the characters i mean the, the way that gitanjali rao directed the film it was so good it was also good to see that anurag kashyap also you know provided his voice over Mm. Uh, for this movie, along with I think Makran Deshpande and uh, uh, Virendra Saxena also. So um, I like the animation of the movie. I love the music. I think it was very seventies Bombay, and I really like the music. Apart from that, I liked how there were some scenes which were very artsy and very cinematic, and only if you probably watch a lot of films you could relate to it. So I liked that it was a little complicated as well. Mm. Uh, so yeah, these are the things that I liked about. I'll just add to a little bit to everything that you said which is not very different. I love the animation. I really think that it's a game changer in terms of the animation um style and genre in India for sure because as Farhad said, I think the only other one that we could actually compare it to is like a Chota Bheem or something. But there aren't many adult not adult, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh <laughs> animation for adults uh in india so that definitely agree with you the music for sure i mean that one song that kept on playing throughout the film i think it was reva reva karke kuch tha rahe that every time it came on like it gave me goosebumps and i was just like i kept reading the subtitles so i was like i feel like there's a deeper meaning to it and i i wanted to keep listening to it over and over again uh another just a quick point um adding on to tanya what you said that there were a couple of sequences which uh you know if you watch a lot of cinema or if you are into into analyzing a little bit of cinema you you get very engrossed into it and one scene in particular for me was uh, actually I'm jumping ahead but yeah, i'll say yeah. it anyway i'll say it yeah, anyway we, we, we just say it together okay, okay. i think we're going to talk about the same scene okay so the goods we have finished how about we go in an anti clockwise now and we talk about the the bad or the not so good uh, that stood out for us story is something i really did not enjoy i was really hoping for a path breaking interesting unique story to to basically be backed by such level of making so if only they had i think incorporated a better story or told a better story with such level of animation and such level of graphics uh, i think it would have been a win win but the story did absolutely nothing for me i didn't take away anything very uh, memorable from the movie to have it you know to keep constantly thinking about it even after i had watched it once it was over i was like oh, okay cool tanya what about you honestly same um i had higher expectations from the movie but when i saw the movie it was a very like you're watching it it's a very sunday movie where you're like doing some even if like you're doing something else and you miss a little bit you still know what is happening hmm. it was kind of a movie for me and it didn't keep me that engaged there were times when i was really into the movie and there were times when i was losing my interest so that is like what i didn't like about the film and apart from that the relations were good but i don't think i felt very emotionally connected to hmm. characters that much i don't think it really emotionally created an impact on myself and when the movie got over i don't think it stayed with me i i don't know should i say it or not but uh, the storyline is a bit more cliched because mm-hmm. you know uh, that uh, we have seen several times in uh, bollywood or uh, 
I should rather say that you know Indian cinema that there is a Muslim boy or a Hindu girl or a Hindu uh, girl uh, sorry or a Muslim girl or a Hindu boy so they have a love affair and stuff like that so it has been repeated several times. Yeah, but how what about you? Yeah, the story wasn't very novel for starters. That is true. Though the emotions were. they were complex but the story was simple it had that surface level treatment they didn't go too much into the depth of it but considering the genre of animation i feel that animation movies generally do not have complicated stories so in that sense i feel uh, i could just pass that you know that the story is simple cliched it's fine okay now a fun part one thing that stayed with you so there was this one scene that stayed with me was when the woman was old was looking at herself in the mirror and it was she was young i think like the whole past and present and where she was like when well, you know that thing when i i knew that she's going to die you know that whole scene i think stayed with me and for me that was the best scene of the film and also one of the most well written sequences of the movie So mm-hmm. I learned a lot as a cinema student, and um, that stayed with me for sure. And the music. So for me, the best part of the film was uh, it stayed with me was the background music. So yeah. it was so good, and it was done so well, and it, it suited the narrative. You know, it, it was quite suitable for the film's narrative. We see very few uh, Hindi or Bollywood animated movies. and uh, when we see them cuz just uh, that you guys mentioned that you know we have watched chota beam and you know other animated movies so there uh, so the problem is that you know most of the animated movies that we have seen so far they are more like child oriented or you know teenage drama types so this was a rare uh, you know adult film which was more of a romantic type and quite a realistic movie i mean it has to be the music and the background score for sure because uh, so we just discussed that uh, the movie was not very novel and cliched but it act- the music actually got brought in life to the story you know it it contributed in a very big way when some of the older yesterday tunes were used as background scores and that uh, song reva that we've already discussed uh, it just added a lot of soul to the movie i feel and it made the movie all, uh, a lot uh, uh, you can say melancholic uh especially towards the end when the sequence of events uh, that transpire i won't reveal any spoilers i want everyone to go and watch this so few things which you guys have actually already mentioned that stayed with me was definitely the music what i really really enjoyed watching were actually two three things uh one was you know the transition from old mumbai or old bombay to mumbai if we can say it that way where mrs uh, what was her name miss disuza when she is walking with the little girl and she is basically you know going from her house all the way to the church and that is when the animation shifts from black and white to color and then color to black and white and there's a song playing in the back i think it was dil tarap tarap ke keh raha hai abija tu hum se aa that was it was fun to watch and that i think it was also in the beginning few minutes of the film where i still didn't know what to expect right so i was waiting for more uh things to unravel and like f- find out why are there two black and white and color screens going on what is this movement about so that thing definitely stayed with me and i like old school songs anyway so i enjoyed that uh the other thing that stayed with me was the symbolism uh which was unfortunately only used very rarely in the film the guy who's the pimp i think his name was mike whenever he came into the frame it was it was a vulture converting into him and then converting back so right off the bat when that happened i think in the first 10 minutes of the film i was like oh that's interesting like he's the vulture in her life like he is going to destroy her life or he's that pain point in her life and i wanted to see more unfortunately there was no more into it coming to a quick closure uh one thing that you wish was better and we've already spoken about we wish the story was better so something apart from the story that uh you wish could have been better i i wish the story was a little more complete hmm. i think like there was a lot happening in the movie but the dots were not joined yeah i i hope it was more interconnected i think that it would make more sense and would i could relate more to the emotion and what the creators were trying to show so mm-hmm. i think i wish it was better written it was more clear with what they're trying to show i don't want to use the word but i think it was a very big kitchen 
I agree with you. I'll just quickly add my point to exactly what Tanya you said. Just piggybacking on that, it was a kitchery. It wasn't weaved together. Like there's one story which is about Kamla and uh, Salim. Then there's one story about Miss D'Souza and her, you know, her forgotten love, forgotten life, all of that. Then there is a perspective of spoiler, I guess, perspective from the Rose. And I was waiting for them to be weaved in nicely, but it, I kept waiting. Like there was this one scene, I guess, where I was like, oh, this is how they're all connected. But it wasn't an aha moment. It was like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, as I said, mentioned uh, earlier also that the storyline could have been a bit, a bit more better. But apart mm-hmm. from that, it, it's a really good and uh, quite an enjoyable film. So I would uh, rather try to, you know, uh, appreciate it because it, it's very rare to have an animated film and that too for adults. Farhad, what about you? So uh, I feel that uh, certain issues that uh, were actually in the narration, basically in the in the story, basically that could, they could have been explored a little more. I mean, it was just about on the surface, like in the Muslim. They could have actually dug in a little deeper, you know. For it would have added a lot of depth to the uh, story as well as the characters. I would feel. So, if you had to rate this film from let's say one to five, and or recommend it to your friends, a how much would you rate it, and b if would you recommend it? Farhad, I know your answer already, but I'm gonna ask you again. <laughs> I actually have already rated uh, the movie on uh, my site popcornreviews.com so if you would like to read the full review you can please visit that link in the description good plug in huh have... <laughs> <laughs> I have rated it four and a half uh, okay. simply because I just uh, let few of the flaws uh, pass by because such films are a rarity and they need that kind of push I feel um, mm-hmm. the animation genre the music the, the animation for adults um so, I mean, I would definitely recommend it to everybody. Uh, hmm. Four and a half it is for me out of five. I would recommend this movie to people who I know are interested in cinema. But to people who don't watch cinema that much, I would not recommend it. Hmm. But definitely to people who are into cinema, I would recommend for like moments. And um, how much I would rate this movie? I'm sorry, but two and a half. Recommendation same thing, Tanya, because while I was watching it and while things were coming together, I was like, oh, this is interesting, interesting. I can't wait to message my parents and tell them to watch it. But then towards the end, I'm like, they're going to hate me if I recommend this because they'd be like, what was that? So, I mean, again, I would recommend it to cinema lovers. I would recommend it to people who have an eye to appreciate such things, but not to everyone. Uh, it was very lukewarm. And mm-hmm. as for my reviews on Popcorn Pixel, I have rated it a 3.5 out of 5 because as Farhad, you said, I mean, we need to appreciate for what it is and not be so critical. So from my end, uh, the rating for the film would be uh, 3 because uh, I would have rated it a bit more higher because uh, yeah, just uh, as I just mentioned earlier that, you know, there was uh, an issue for me with the storyline, quite appreciate. And uh, for the recommendation part, I would definitely recommend it to uh, my friends or to potential viewers because such movies are very rare. And specifically when you see uh, from a Bollywood perspective, because we have seen uh, lots of uh, Hollywood and even Korean uh, or even Japanese uh, anime or animated movies. But as I said that, you know, most of the Hindi movies that we've seen, uh, because I also remember, I think there was a Hindi film by the name of Oh My Friend Ganesha something. It oh, was, yeah. Yeah, such a horrible cartoon it was. Really, you know, I don't want to bash it because it was really, uh, you know, mediocre. And apart from that, so many, uh, you know, cartoon movies I've seen, so I never liked it. But yeah, this, this was quite mature. And uh, from a Netflix perspective, it, it's good enough. Nice. On that note, that was a great discussion. And we're not trying to bash anyone. We're just having an open discussion because that's what you need to do with content. And everything is evolving. So we need to evolve as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, if you like this conversation, like, share, subscribe, follow Bye. all the good stuff. We also have links of Farhad's channel, Tanya's channel, Sadiq's channel is work in progress, but we will include uh, that link. WIP. WIP, yeah. but yes. See you again next time.